Hello you guys, welcome back to another vlog. I actually just drove to the mall. I impulsively decided to come to the mall today because Aritzia just opened up here. Today is actually like the grand opening day and I've been waiting for this for the longest time. If you guys know me, you know Aritzia is hands down like probably one of my top five favorite stores. If not like top three, it's my favorite. So I'm gonna head there and just check it out. Also, I know Sephora is having their semi-annual sale, so I definitely wanna stop in there and pick up a couple of things. Nothing crazy, but I haven't been to the mall in a long time, and I did a major closet purge and posted so many things on Poshmark. I think I showed it in a video, I'm not quite sure. So I can link that for you guys down below. Also, I'm so happy. I'm like in the best mood ever today because Jack Harlow released his first class song. Oh my god, that song makes me feel like some type of way. It is so good. I'm sure we're all like maybe starting to get annoyed of it already because it's all you see on your For You page on TikTok, but I swear that song just like, it gets me going. I love it. I just freaking love it. So that's a good thing. Music just puts me in a whole, whole good vibe mindset, you know? time you guys for a mall haul. I'm so excited about everything that I picked up, um, especially the Aritzia. It was literally gorgeous, like prettiest Aritzia I've ever been in. I loved it and I picked up a few things and I wasn't planning on actually finding as many things as I did. It was hard to hold back, but we did it. I also got a free water bottle. Nice little Nalgene, love that. But I'll start by showing you everything that I got from here. So, the first thing that I got is this white top. It's just a Babaton top. Freaking love this. I like how it doesn't, like it's not see-through at all. You don't have to wear a bra underneath it. And I've been trying to find a white tank like this um, that isn't like see-through. So, this is definitely a staple to have. I'm obsessed. I actually showed a haul of all the things I got from Sephora on my TikTok. And then I did like a little shop with me um, at Aritzia on my TikTok as well. So if you follow me on TikTok and have already seen all this, I'm sorry, but also if you don't follow me on TikTok, be sure to follow me there. Little, little self promo. Um, and then I got this top, which I thought was very, like it hanging up, it's very like basic black little moment, but I have so many different ways that I wanna style this and I don't have like a boxy, short sleeve top like this. I feel like a lot of tops I have are like either skin tight and cropped. Also, I love the length of the sleeves too. It's kind of like a very boxy, relaxed look. I really figured I could dress this up, dress it down with like sweats or something. That's the thing about Aritzia. Their stuff is so versatile. And then another Babaton piece I got was just the Babaton um, contour crop, long sleeve. This pink is gorgeous. I love it. It looks so pretty on. I think I'm gonna wear this like for Easter or something too. So cute, perfect for the springtime. And then I got the TNA tank. This is the butter tank. I love these tanks. So cute, just for like lounging around with some little shorts or something and leggings, it's like a go-to. And I love this navy blue color. Lastly from Ritzia, I just got a pair of the TNA Cozy shorts, these are the best. I swear they're like the perfect at home Sunday attire. I have a matching crew neck to this and I wear that thing so much. It's like my comfort crew neck, it's the best. And I like it really like oversized. It's so cozy. So these shorts match it. And I just thought it'd be perfect little short, especially for the summertime too. And then moving on to Sephora, of course, the semi-annual sale. I picked up quite a few things because I was really waiting for a lot of these things um, to buy until the sale happened. So we'll just start off. 
first things first. This is the Mason Louis Marie number no. nine perfume. I always love picking up a perfume during this sale because it's just obviously a great time to pick one up because um, it's discounted, but this is one of my favorite scents right now. I tried it on a couple weeks ago and fell in love with it, but I wanted to wait to pick it up until the sale since I was out of my daytime scent. So got this one. It's gonna be a new go-to perfume for me. And it just has like a very nice, like musky, but very feminine scent to it. I don't know how to describe it really. I suck at describing perfumes, but next time you guys are at Sephora, definitely give this a try. I love it. I've never heard anything of it before. It just looks like this. If you guys see this at Sephora, definitely try it out. Then the next thing I picked up was a um, cleanser and I kind of did a little bit of a revamp, not super, but um, I'm starting to run low on a lot of the products that I currently use in my skincare routine, so I wanted to try some new things as well. This is the Tatcha Rice Wash Soft Cream Cleanser. I've heard this is so good for um, like textured skin and really helps with texture and discoloration. I actually am dealing with like little bumps on my skin right now, so I wanted to give this a try. I recently used, maybe about a few months ago actually, like the Rice Wash Travel Size. Fell in love with it, used like every last bit of it. So I wanted to finally pick up the full version. So I guess I have tried this before, but not like consistently to where I could notice a difference, you know? But I read the reviews and there were so many positive reviews about this. Um, and then similarly for my skincare, I got a moisturizer because I have no moisturizer to use right now. I just have like a heavy nighttime one that I use. But for the morning, I wanna use the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. Again, I've heard so many good things about this. I hear so many things about Kiehl's in general as a brand. Their stuff has been around for so long and it's just a trusty brand. So I'm gonna try out this like lightweight hydrating moisturizer for my skin because my skin has been very dry as well too because I have been using salicylic acid-based products. So naturally that's going to dry out the skin and like AHAs and BHAs, all of that. Um, Similarly, the Paula's Choice Skincare, this like exfoliating duo, I have heard a million and one things about it. This is why I'm so excited to try it out for my skin because like I said, I'm dealing a lot with texture right now. And every time I like Google how to get rid of little bumps on my skin or like texturized skin, this product comes up literally every time or I've like watched videos and people use this, seen a million TikToks, so. I have really high hopes and I'm excited to try this out. Probably have said I'm excited about every product like a million times, but we know, we get it. Um, then I got the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Big fan of Summer Fridays. And I've never tried this either, so couldn't go wrong. And then the Charlotte Tilbury's Beautiful Skin Foundation. Everybody and their mother talks about this on TikTok. And I'm very into my CC cream from It Cosmetics. That's like my go-to trusty little guy. So this will be interesting to try out. It says that it makes your skin look radiant up to 285%. So love that. I'm super into a dewy look, especially with summertime coming around. So this will be nice. And then last but not least, a new hair care product, which I never really buy that many hair care things, especially like higher end because I've never put that much effort, I guess, into my hair care, which I really need to start doing. But the Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray, I am obsessed with this. I sprayed it on in the store in my hair. One, it smells so good, and two, it gives your hair so much volume, and I have lots of hair and long hair too, so this is incredible. I highly recommend it. It's gonna be a new staple in my hair care routine because I can't get over how amazing it smells, and it's just, Chef's freaking kiss. I've been sleeping on Living Proof. I've never bought anything from them before, and now I think I'm addicted, so this is amazing. And then lastly from the mall, I just got a gift for my friend for her birthday this weekend. So it's just the everyday belt bag from Lululemon because everybody and their mother has this, and I use mine all the time, every day. Especially when I'm just like running errands, like running out of my apartment quick. It's great to just like throw my keys, phone, credit cards, all that in there. So I figured it's a very good, practical gift to have. So anyways, that's my mall haul. Um, I'm going to put all of this stuff away. And then I think I might go to yoga tonight. It is 522. 
and it starts at 5.45, so we'll have to rush, but I think I could make it. I just made it such a last minute decision to go to yoga tonight, so I need to quickly take off my makeup. I just threw on this set active little set, but it is literally 5.25 right now, and it starts at 5.45, so I'm gonna sprint there and take a class because I figured I have so much energy right now and if I have this much energy at night I like cannot go to sleep so I need to just get it out of me and go to yoga plus it'll feel so good I freaking love it it's like a heated studio too so it just feels so refreshing and like I love it okay I'm gonna wash my face and then I'll see you guys in a second that was honestly the fastest change ever, but I just threw on this set that I showed you guys from Set Active and these little flip flops. I'm gonna head out right now and I'll see you guys after yoga. Sitting in my room, just strumming my guitar, just trying to be a star, just trying to listen to my mood and write a couple bars about the feelings in my heart. Ignore the phone quality and my very sweaty self. I swear I never regret those yoga classes. I'm glad I made it a point to come just like randomly because I really haven't gone that much this week. I think I went I went to one this week. So I was like, we're gonna make it a priority. And I made it in time. I was even early. So love that for me. Um, but yeah, there was no excuse. So now I'm gonna head home shower obviously and then make dinner i'm so hungry i think i'm gonna make one of my trader joe's veggie burgers a little salad that sounds really good salad is definitely one of my go-to meals that I make throughout the week just because it's such a healthy and easy meal to make. You pretty much just put everything in the air fryer and then I throw everything on a bed of greens and add any toppings of my choice. But this truff hot sauce is like an essential. I swear I put it on like all of my meals because it is so freaking good. You guys need to try it out. And then I just finish it off with this balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Again, super healthy, simple, easy salad, and it tastes incredible. Hello, you guys. Obviously, it's the next day now. I just wanted to carry the vlog on until today because actually, I'm gonna have a major spring cleaning day, and I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys just some little things I'm gonna do to organize my apartment, just clean, tidy it up a little bit. I literally love spring cleaning so we're gonna do some decluttering i have a closet back there with all my shoes in it and it's so messy it's like really bothering me so i'm gonna take care of that and then my actual closet and also i have some furniture that was finally delivered and i'll just finish up my living room hang those photos and just get things situated around here because my apartment has just felt a little bit chaotic, so I'm gonna change that. But first things first, we're gonna take care of that little shoe closet back there, get everything organized, and also I'm gonna wash my bedding because nothing is better than fresh clean sheets. Why is it gotta be so complicated? Maybe this love thing's overrated. My feet in the sand, my face in my hands. I know it's my fault cause I never make plans.
With you in that dress, girl, there ain't no denying you But that's the point I'm trying to get to With every single issue and everything that you do, baby I wanna make sure I just got in for running errands. I also stopped at Sephora again. I know I'm crazy, but my friend actually influenced me to do a little Sephora run. So I'll show you guys a couple of the things that I picked up. Um, but first off, from Trader Joe's, I got a lot of just like the basics that I typically get. So I got some mixed greens, some cheese, cucumber, mushrooms, peppers, my favorite veggie burgers I swear you guys need to try these they're so good just throwing it on top of like a bit of greens some roasted veggies such an easy little dinner to make and then I just put these in the air fryer for like 16 minutes or so um, some tempeh and then some mixed berries my favorite dried bananas these are such a good snack with like peanut butter or to just put in my oatmeal that kind of thing I love these and then I got some regular bananas and then I saw this little drink at the checkout line, so I wanted to try it out. It's the organic sparkling lemon and strawberry apple cider vinegar drink. So I'll have to let you guys know how that is. It sounds like something that would be good for gut health. Who knows? Um, and then lastly, just the everything but the bagel seasoning. So very quick, like I said, little grocery haul. And now I'll show you all everything that I got from Sephora. I'm so excited. This was so unintended, but I swear sometimes my friends just influence me the most. So, lots of these products were influenced by my friend Sid. She sent me a little haul of everything that she got at Sephora, and I just had to had to make the little splurge. So, first thing I got was this oat cleansing balm, which I'm very excited to try because this is such a good brand. I've tried some of their skincare products before from Sephora, and it's just like so affordable and reasonable. Um, and this is great because I always use like a makeup cleansing balm to take off my makeup at night if I'm like wearing makeup that day, obviously. And then I'll go in with a cleanser afterwards. And I just ran out of the makeup balm that I get from um, Amazon. So I wanted to pick this one up because it was like $10. And then obviously with the sale, it was about like eight or so. Um, so I'll have to keep you guys updated about how I like this because I do have very Sensitive skin, but she was telling me that everybody like raves about this product and I believe her so I'll have to definitely try this out next time I wear some makeup and stuff to wash my face and then the next product I've been eyeing up for a long time I love rare beauty. It's definitely one of my favorite go-to makeup brands also, it is very reasonably priced at Sephora too. So I got one of the highlighters because I have a blush from Rare Beauty and I freaking love it. So I got this really pretty gold highlighter and this just looks like the most gorgeous color for the summertime with like a coral or like orangey type makeup look. I feel like this would be gorgeous. Kind of like a bronzy style makeup look. And then... I got another product from Rare Beauty. This is the Always an Optimist powder in light to medium. And this had so many good reviews on Sephora.com. And so I was like, 
I want to try this out. It's just like a loose setting powder and especially with summertime coming up, I know living in Florida, I'm going to need a makeup setting powder, especially just with like the heat and everything. And I never usually use a setting powder besides like under my eyes. I always use the Laura Mercier one. So I just wanted an all over the face setting powder. So I'm excited to try this one out. And then another brand that I love is Milk Makeup. So my friend Sid recommended this product to me. Um, she said she's heard lots of good things about it. It's the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I need a new face primer. So I wanted to try this one out. And then the last few things I got were just some lip products from Sephora Collection. I tried these all on already, but the first one I got was this lipstick in the color Room Service, number 64. It's just like a bright pink color like that. I love like light pink. I just feel like it looks the best with my skin tone and hair color. So I got another light pink color. I don't know the shade number or the shade, but the shade number is 69. And you can see right here, I swatched it. It's like a very bright, pretty poppy pink. And the last lip product I got was just a jumbo lip gloss. It's like a lip plumper, just like an iridescent shade. And it's right there. So I love putting these over just like a matte lip to make the lips look very glossy and healthy. So that's my Sephora haul. I'm just going to finish up cleaning my apartment now. I have my bed sheets that are all fresh and cleaned. They finished up in the dryer while I was out and about. So I'm gonna go make my bed and just finish up tidying up my apartment. few hours later now and I finished cleaning up the majority of my apartment it feels so much better now that things are just organized and decluttered so I love that feeling but I'm gonna actually also I bit my lips so <laughs> ignore my super red lip right now um, but anyways that pretty much for the rest of the night I'm just gonna do some editing and kind of hang out um and yeah so i'm going to end off this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed it, this video i love you all so much also i'll link all of like the products that i got from sephora yesterday and today in the description box and like all the aritzia stuff so if you want to purchase anything links will be in the description box but i love you all so much and i will see you in my next video bye guys